Welcome back to the Filmmaker's Formula. My name is Kevin and you're watching Guilty Wednesdays where we steal a cool effect from a popular video so you can add it to your arsenal of editing techniques. Today we're looking at replicating the title sequence of Brooklyn 99. <laughs> So after Fox cancelled the show last year, NBC picked it up for a new season 6. If you haven't seen it before, it's a workplace comedy, kind of like The Office, but about police officers working at the 99 precinct in New York City. Season 6 of the show premiered on January 10th, which felt like last week. Can you believe January is already over? We're a little behind, but that's okay. Alright, let's look at an example and break this thing down. There's like three parts to this title. There's the color overlay behind Terry. Then you have the animation and text coming in from the left. And the last part is just that little bit of zoom in the beginning, which kind of looks like a freeze frame, to be honest. Technically speaking, you can do all these things inside Premiere, but Premiere makes it harder to mask out hair. So we're going to boot up the old Photoshop. There are several ways I know to cut hair. But for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just going to focus on the things that go into the title sequence. If you're interested in a video on how to cut around hair, let me know in the comment section below, and I'll probably make a bite-sized video on that next week. After you cut out yourself, put yourself on a new layer and put a solid behind that. Choose any color you want, but turn down the opacity so you can see through the background. There's a slight color vignetting on the edges as well, and you can just do that with a soft brush. But it's up to you. Feel free to mix it up. Export the photo, and then we can jump right into Premiere. In Premiere, we're going to first tackle the text animation. If you looked at the clip closely, the first and last name comes in at different times and different places. The first name comes from up top, and the last name comes from the side along with the color strip. To make a color strip, create a solid in Premiere and mask out the shape of your strip. Then place your name and text on the line. I'd probably nest the last name and the strip together as one. And to do that, all you have to do is highlight the two layers and right click on it and click nest. Then comes the animation. The first name goes from big to small. So set a keyframe of the scale for the first name. The text should be big enough that you can't see it in frame. For the second part, set a keyframe for when the text and shape is out of frame and just move it in. If we play back everything we have now, this is what we get. All you have to do from there is to shorten up the keyframe so things move faster and add a motion blur to it. And that's it. Let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions or feel free to also leave any ideas for any upcoming videos that you'd like to see. Or just tell me about your day. Like the video if you liked it, share with somebody else that might enjoy it. And until the next video, I'll see you later.